Hello everyone, welcome to today's nice hash website tutorial. Um, I'm going to explain how you can mine cryptocurrencies with the help of nice hash. So basically nice hash is a, is a gateway between people who are offering their hash power and people who want to rent it, people like me. So I often rent hash power at nice hash. Um, it works a bit different than the regular uh, hash power renting websites because at nice hash you have to bid, you have to bid on the hash power. And when you get the highest bid, you can get all the hash power on the site, basically. So it's really convenient if you need uh, big amounts of hash power in a short amount of time. So let's get started right away. Well, actually, I'm still logged in, I see. All right, so let's register an account. So I'm just going to quickly put my email address. All right, put the CAPTCHA code. And done, register. So after that, I'm going to click the confirmation email and done. So let's log in. This is my account. And we're going straight to the wallet. So the wallet is basically how much Bitcoin you have on the NiceHash website. So this is my wallet deposit address. So I already have 0.2 Bitcoin in my wallet. So when you just created your account, you have zero balance. So you have to send some Bitcoin to this address. And it takes three confirms before uh, before you can actually use it. So it's important to note that you always need to have some balance on the website so that you can quickly uh, mine a coin when a coin is released. So let's start with placing an order. So I'm going to go to the front end right now. Okay, so I decided to mine dark coin. So dark coin is an X11 coin. I'm gonna check the orders and I see the highest bid for X11 is 0. 23 Bitcoin per giga hash per day. So you see in this guy, he actually kept his speed quite low. So you can cap the speed so you can choose whatever speed you want. So if you put the highest bit and put uh, no cap, you will get probably most of the hash power available on the website. So if we scroll a little bit down, we can see even if you bit 0 0.11, even 0 0.10, you can still get hash power. But below that, you will not get anything. So if you want to make sure you get hash power, you just you basically can bid the highest. So that's what I'm going to do right now to show this. So I'm going to create an order. I'm going to choose X11. I'm going to pay 0 0.1. Uh, I'm going to limit the hashing speed to, let's say, 5 giga hash. And I'm going to pay... 24 so that's basically i'm basically the highest bidder so i can only mine two hours with this for 0 0.1 bitcoin so if i put a lower bit you can see it automatically updates i can mine longer now i'm just gonna bid 24 for now so i need a pool here so i already set up my worker at the dark coin pool so i have a pool here miningpoolhub.com um so i'm at the getting started page here you can see the stratum servers here so I'm going to use the US server for now. I'm just going to use this server and check the port. It's 2465. So I'm going to just fill this in. 2465. And my worker, what is my worker? I already made a worker right here. So my workers, let's see. I have a worker, timtime.nicehash1, password1. So that is timtim. Nice hash one and password is one. So that should do it for now. So I'm gonna scroll down and press create order. So now my order is created. I'm gonna click view my orders. It says connecting to remote pool. So it should be connected soon. So I'm gonna refresh right now. And there we go, it's connected. So because I'm the highest bidder, I have a lot of miners pointed to me. So you can see the speed here, I put it to 5 maximum. I can even change it here if I want to put it a little bit lower. So actually I'm just going to put it to 1 for now. 1 gigahertz. 1 giga hash. Alright, so you can see I changed the speed to 1. 1 giga hash per second right now. And the speed is almost uh, 1 giga hash. So I'm gonna check my pool. So you can see the hash rate is also 900. Yeah, it's pretty close. Oh, 
Now it's a little bit higher. Well, it's based on the shares that, that we submit. So this is not entirely accurate, but you can see it, the shares are submitting. So I'm hashing away right now at this pool. So ba that's basically it. So yeah, my order is one giga hash now. So if we go to the front page, you can see my order. It's at the top of the list because I'm, I'm bidding the most. So if someone outbids me like this guy, uh, then he will get on top of the list. So we can always change my order. Uh, if I go to orders, there's my order, I can always change it. I can put it like 0 0.3. I don't want to do that right now because I'm already the highest bidder, but you can always do that. You can change the limit. You can, always, you can just refill it also with more Bitcoin because this will run out at this speed. It will run out in nine hours. See, so if, if after nine hours I want to refill, I can just refill. So if I want more hash, I can just increase it. So... That's basically it. All right, so I'm quickly going to set up another coin. I'm going to mine via coin also, so that's a script coin. So I'm at script here. I have to bid uh, 0.55. So we're gonna create an order. Create order, script 0 0.1. Uh, limit hash we will do one. Price, I had to do 0 0.55. So I'm going to use a previous pool here. I already set this up in the past because it saves the last five pools that I used. So I'm going to use Xhash. I click on it and immediately it has all my info. So I can immediately create my order and done. So let's wait a bit. So this order is set up right now. Connected to the remote pool. All right, it's already connected. So I'm gonna have to wait a bit until this, uh, the speed is all right. But now I have this order and I have also my X11 order. Um, so I'm, you can see I'm mining dark coin right now here. And this is my script order of via coin. So I'm mining two coins right now with nice hash. So it's as easy as that. So that is basically it. I'm now mining via coin and dark coin through nice hash. Uh, the most important thing of nice hash, the power of nice hash is actually being able to rent huge amount of hash power in a really short period of time. That's, that's the power of nice hash. That's why nice hash is so good and useful. So I hope you all enjoyed and understand how it works. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, see you guys next time on nicehash.com. Bye bye.